Welcome guys back to another video. Behind me you can see an engine and above me the car where it is coming from. So what's the situation with this one? The owner was initially booked in for carbon cleaning but he got appointment like like two three weeks in advance um, and in the meanwhile the car got overheated or he thrown the overheating fault code so he uh, messaged me if he can come for a diagnosis so he came and we did the head gasket test and it confirmed the head gasket failure i've got a video on the channel how to do that so feel free to check that out and carry out uh, the same test if you want so he left the car here and now we are going to do the head gasket replacement i'll tell you um in a bit more like uh, in a bit more detail like what that go that's going to include involve uh, why those parts needs to be changed or why we are changing those parts how we are doing it um, how we remove the engine from the car this time because now we have the ramps we removed it from underneath so remove the subframe and then the engine peter kennedy has a great video on youtube he explains how to do it if we will have more time, we may do same or similar video, how we do it. Um, but yeah, this time we removed it from underneath the car. On the other one, when we had the CX-5, we removed that from the top. Um, we may do a video about that, but again, we don't really have time at all. So I'm going to remove the bits and parts or disassemble the engine and um, i'll try to include or record a time lapse video of it and do a little stops and show you the engine uh, at certain stages and meanwhile as you can see then he's digging around with his engine in the background he <laughs> he's rebuilding it finally um yeah so that those parts from that engine are actually i believe in four or five cars now so he needed to search all the parts for his engine so yeah, now let me switch the camera or turn around the camera, show you the engine a little bit and then I'll try to, or I'm going to disassemble it and try to do the timeless video. So here is the engine from the Mazda 3 and there is Dan's engine in bits <laughs> and pieces. <laughs> yeah, so again, how we did it, we used pallets because we don't have that scissor lift table at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll bring that Milwaukee light tower light in here so I have better lighting obviously but yeah I'm going to do the pretty much the same as I'm as I usually do so remove the intake parts EGR valve cover um, timing parts and like the reason I'm, we are not putting this on engine instead like then engines in on is on because we don't want to remove the gearbox or we can remove the gearbox what we don't want to remove is the flywheel because the flywheel gets misaligned so the bolt holes don't align anymore with the bolts and we are not changing the flywheel so that's why we are doing it this way i'll try to include or tell you or record a clip how we get it done but now let me remove the parts first and then i'll stop at each stage like how the things look like after I remove let's say the intake manifold the egr parts and the valve cover um, and also then I'm going to remove the cylinder head itself um, obviously first the timing side of the things and then the cylinder head okay me and then have disassembled the car at this stage I didn't do the slow-mo or the time-lapse because I didn't know how to do that look at the carbon buildup to be honest it is not that bad considering the car has like 180k 190k on the clock i have removed the oil shower just to see that the camshaft or show you that the camshaft is worn the timing cover still needs to be removed which will be do shortly and then has removed the turbo and the dpf and also i have removed the egr parts uh, vacuum pump and high pressure fuel pump now what's going what we are going to do is remove obviously the timing side and then put it in put the first piston to top that center and then remove the the rest of the engine parts so the camshafts the journals the tappets the rocker arms and then the head itself 
At this point, it is not necessary to set it to top dead center because going to, we are going to change the timing chain and everything at anyways. But there will be a little trick which I'll show you down the way or during the, the removal because we won't remove the oil pan now because we can't obviously because the engine is supported on it. Um, so yeah, let me get the timing cover removed and the tensioner as well and the two camshafts and the other bits which belongs to that. So the head is off. It was held by, I believe, 12 spline uh, bolts. Anyways, this is the head, how it looks like. This is not the head. Sorry, this is the block. You are <laughs> so correct then. <laughs> yeah, this is the block. This is the head gasket and the head is over there, sitting on the table. Um, so yeah, we are going to replace it the entire head so we're not going to put that back we're going to send it to a machine shop to pressure test it and skim it but we're going to use like a already done head which is like prepared for us so it speeds up the things then had just removed the head gasket and we will further investigate where it was leaking um and yeah then we are going to fit it back or assemble the engine back together and then it can go back to the car and another happy more, hopefully even more than 200,000 miles as it lasted nearly 200,000 miles on this engine or on this uh, head gasket. So we cleaned the engine block, not this side, we're going to clean the side obviously, but the main thing was the top. So we cleaned it, also we cleaned the, the water galleries and also then told me to mention to you that very important is that you clean the cylinder head bolt holes. So one, two, three, four, five, and the same on the other side, because if there is something in there and you tighten down the head bolts, you can crack the block. And I guess that's what that's not what you want. Um, so now Dan brought me the head gasket, which is here, a brand new OEM Mazda head gasket. Um, going to install that and he just brought the cylinder head or maybe not probably not <laughs> that's the wrong box so he's bringing the cylinder head which we are going to fit on that one and get the parts from the old cylinder head what we need put on the onto the new one obviously i'll show you that then we're going to set the timing clean this surface and here will be like a little tweak to the bottom or the oil pump timing chain which peter kennedy advised us to do so if you are doing it this way that we are not removing the the gearbox from the engine block so the new head is on with the head gasket um, the bolt still needs to be tightened there is a spec for the bolt so you can reuse them if the the thread don't exceed 15 centimeters so 150 millimeters and the way you tighten them you go from the center so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten um, this one has to be taken off obviously just to tighten the, the two bolts the last ones these torque specs are the following first 40 newton meters to all of the bolts and then three times 90 degrees so 90 do on all of them and then 90 again all of them 90 all of them and then that's it you can fit the rest of the engine parts the cylinder head parts we're going to match the engine block surface to the cylinder head so we're going to clean it um, and then refit the camshafts and the other bits and parts <laughs> 